What is one thing your wife GF doesn't do, but you wish she did? Actual hang up the phone when she says it'll let you go right before she launches into another subject. However, with that being said, she sounds so sad when I tell her to let me go. So I just deal with it. Hang the dishcloth in its place. Must she always leave it wet and in a heap somewhere in the kitchen? Be a bit more physical with me. Not even sexual with this. I just like being touched. Hand on the leg. Random kisses. Just being touched in general. I love it. Stop letting her family make her feel like shit. Eating with yo damn mouth closed. Put the new roll of toilet paper on the holder. But no. She puts it on the counter six inches away from the holder. And leaves the empty cardboard tube on the holder. Every. Time. Acknowledge that she is not the only person in this relationship that has feelings. My ex never gave me a comforting hug. My wife has a tendency to feel very strongly about a subject. And have big emotions about it. Which requires a one-two hour heartfelt discussion to resolve. That's fine. I participate and help her untangle these problems every time. The problem is that they often come up when I have a time constraint I can't avoid. Yes. Our son's efforts at school and struggles with certain subjects are very important. But I have to be at work in 15 minutes so can we pin it for later? I just want the effort to be reciprocal. It's been said. But actually listen. I can be telling her about something for my day. She'll pause for a nanosecond and then start with well let me tell you about. And we'll proceed to talk for 72 hours about something completely unrelated. It's so defeating knowing she is devoting point zero 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 two mental processing to anything I'm saying. It reminds me of that line from Fight Club people don't listen. They just wait for their turn to speak. Remember more than half of the things I ask her to get at the shop. I was making a pineapple upside down cake and asked her to get pineapple and sugar. She forgot the pineapple. Be open to spontaneity and break from her routines. She enjoys it when I surprise her and we do something different or even something we enjoy normally. But at a different time and place. I understand how we were necessarily driven by routine when our kids were small. But now that they are older and self-sufficient I thought that we would have changes and we could be more spontaneous. But old habits die hard. This applies to a couple women from my life. I would want them to consider the fact that every time they demanded a massage, that the feeling was mutual and instead of walking away, return the favor. Yes. Big kid words were used and nothing came of it. Take a bit more time for herself. Getting a lot of hot takes here with all the single people chiming in. This thread blew up I'm referring to the people saying doesn't exist. For me it'd be take more of an interest in my hobbies instead of seeing them as something I do when we're not together. Let me win when we golf tears of joy. Monogamy. Opening up and being completely honest and vulnerable about everything. As a former drug addict in recovery, this has been second nature for me. Unfortunately for her it is kinda taboo. We've lived much different past lives. I've lived a wild life of homeless, incarceration and other terrible things. So I will do whatever I have to do to not go back to those days. I got one forehead kiss and really liked it. Never happened again. I am a girl, here to learn for my non-existent relationship. Actually participate in TNE fucking relationship. Listen. Listen. Literally. She doesn't think she's as amazing as she is and it drives me crazy. Pick up after herself. She's ADD so she has difficulty staying on task for too long. But in addition, 
We don't have the same definition of cleanliness and it's something we haven't resolved in some 20 years together. Be open to cuddling. Definitely a miss in our connection. Initiate sex more often. We're both past 60. And I rarely feel the drive like I used to. And I'm actually okay with most of the slowdown that came with age. But damn it would be nice to really feel wanted again like I used to. Care. Live in the same country as me. Stop talking. From time to time. I'm serious. Her mouth is open and sound is coming out 24-7. Take accountability for herself. Be passionate like she used to. That energy and physical attraction seems gone. Initiate. Work. Unfortunately. She's disabled and physically mentally can't work anymore. But her doing so would help out a lot. The same could be said for a lot of household chores and cooking. Honestly. But it's not her fault her body and mind betrayed her so I don't hold it against her. Drive with more confidence. She's so anxious and cautious that she creates more problems for herself and confusion for the drivers around her. No woman I've ever dated was agreeable. Secure in herself. And able to withstand sitting in a room together in complete silence. It would be wonderful. And if I ever find one I will alert the team. Tell me things ahead of time, not the moment it's about to happen. Cook. It sucks coming home and having to have the standard discussion which ultimately boils down to. Either be fiscally responsible and cook something after working all day or eat out. Exist after that? Effort to make me feel loved. Treat me like a person, never again. Entertain themself. I'm an introvert and need some time to myself but they get sad and depressed if they spend time. Alone so I very rarely get to relax by myself. I don't get to watch any movies or shows they don't want to see either because when would I get to watch them? Hug. I need hugs. Drop some weight to make it easier on her spine. My ex in three years of our relationship she never cooked anything for me. 69. Oral sex, support my music aspirations. Give me a minute and I'll think of more. Suck dick like she enjoyed it. Initiate. Stop using vape. My only ex did something that I might never get one again. A bubble bath. If you know your man works hard and don't know how to help him relax. A bubble bath with you. Candles. Relaxing romantic music and just stay in there. I'm not particular hard worker but at that time I worked in a kitchen so. Lots of stress. Quick thinking. Dirtiness from oils. Smokes. Etc etc. The usual burn cut. So that bubble bath helped me relax and even today. When I think about it. It relaxes me a bit even though we ended in bad terms. A great memory from a bad relation. My ex never showed me affection or support. So that. Watch football with me. I would like to get head more often. Get. A. Fucking. Job. Wake up BJ. I wish she would keep her promises honestly love herself. She's really hard on herself in every sense. Physically. Mentally. Financially and career. I don't mind giving her encouragement and being her cheerleader I see her way differently than she does. She has a lot of things going for herself and I wish she could see she's moved forward and not stuck. Me what would you like for dinner? Her. Me replace, with literally anything. Bring the same passion, cuteness, and sexuality she did when we were dating and first married. Put the dirty dishes in the freaking dishwasher when finished with them instead of stacking them in the sink or on the counter next to the dishwasher. Anal. Anal. Survey says.
Swallow number one answer. Blow me from time to time.